Today I'm going to try the uh, unpackaging and seeing, looking over the Saunders Folding X bike that I just bought, electric bike. Looks in pretty good shape. I don't see any obvious scars or anything. Very thick package. A little cut there, but I'm sure there's nothing to it. Um, and this package here is the fender and uh, back kit with the bag. Um, I'll explain that in a little later. We'll start going to open it up here in a minute. Okay, this is the rack and fender kit. Very nicely packed in bubble wrap. Let's see what we got here. Um, we got one fender, a nice bubble wrap. And we got another fender, a nice bubble wrap. Goes over here. And we have it looks like a bracket of some type. And this looks like rack assembly. This box is all there. And see if we can start opening this stuff up and see what it looks like. Okay, this is the rack. Pretty nice, very well built. Couple of brackets. Looks like a front fender here. All metal, good quality. Rear fender, looks pretty good. A lot of hardware here. They even include a couple of nice wrenches. Probably come in handy. A couple of brackets here and some hardware. A couple of brackets there. This is the case that they provide. Got O's in here, here, side pockets, a strap, and a hard back that basically clicks right onto this. Right there, and then you can take it off and wear it as a backpack or what have you. Looks pretty nice. Now, one thing about Saunders is they do not include any racks or fenders with the bikes themselves, unlike other, some other bikes do. Um, and also, they do not sell the rack and or the fenders separately. So what you basically have to do is you'll have to buy this kit if you want a rack. Uh, rack, you could probably buy an off-brand rack and make it fit pretty good. Uh, fenders are something different. Usually they have to be fairly well tailored to the bike. So if you want fenders, you got to buy a rack first and this nice little bag. Now the uh, it's all very nice and uh, looks like it's going to be very very handy. I would rather have just been able to get fenders maybe and then get an off-brand rack or not but without having to buy the bag. But that's the way it goes. It's not a big deal. I do not see any instructions with any of this. So it's either left up to the engine or there might be something in the main uh, instructions in the main box. Not sure. We'll figure that out after I get that open and uh, start sorting that stuff. Okay. okay. Nice looking seat. Foam seat. And on the rod, a couple of Looks like some really nice heavy duty pedals. Metal, not plastic. A strap of some sort, not sure what that does yet. Reflector, front air reflectors. Wheel collectors. And this looks surprisingly like a battery. Maybe a nice screwdriver and Allen wrench and some wrenches. So uh, looks like they give you all the tools that you're going to need. Cord, charge cord, charger charger system and a 
don't know what that is yet. We'll open it up to find out. Looks a display and control there. Nice little box, packaged well. Get that put on and see how that looks and how it works. Okay, there is the bike and all its packaging. Like I said, it's very well packaged. A lot of tie wraps on it, foam, cardboard, everything looks like it's pretty solid on there. Of course, the front wheel is loose, just has to be cut loose and uh, get it out for that. Well, there are absolutely no instructions with this bike. Um, some of it's fairly intuitive, some of it isn't. Uh, the battery obviously is inside here. If you look at the uh, website, they show you, you know, the battery goes in here. You've got a little plug, turn it on and off with, and put the charger in if you don't want to pull it out of the uh, center. Uh, there's a key that locks it in. Um, I've got it on the bench right now charging. Uh, that will charge for a while. This is the battery here. Key there. Got a pin there that locks. And this is a charger. Green red light there. It'll turn green when it's fully charged. I'll leave that set. I'm not exactly sure what this is for yet. We'll figure it out in a bit. Um, that's that part of it. Here's where I have a little bit of um, not too happy with, absolutely no instructions whatsoever. Front wheel obviously goes on. Uh, you make sure that uh, the brake is in between the brake pads in there. And uh, simply tighten this up. Make sure that it wheel freeze, uh, runs freely. The brake will uh, lock it. There's a video already on the internet that uh, shows assembly of one of these. It's a little different because it shows having to hook the cables up and attach the cable through the uh, from the brake on the uh, from the front brake onto the brake caliper. Uh, this one evidently is already hooked up um, with the brake caliper correctly hooked up, so the wheel just has to go on. I've got to tighten that up. The rear. I've got to still do the, uh, put the handlebars on here. Uh, they can adjust which way the handlebars move. I'll show you that later. This still has to be adjusted for true. Um, you have to get inside there with a wrench. I'll show you that in a little bit here. But I want to get the wheel on so I can get it upright and uh, have it standing on its kickstand. Now I can work it from there, get it exactly centered. Okay, well, there it is all together. Uh, everything went together pretty smoothly. Um, without any instructions, it was a little bit complicated to try and figure out what went where, but with a little bit of work, uh, I did it. Um, this is in the wrong place. I've got to move, I've got to take that off of that bracket and put that on the front, and the red one goes on the rear here for the red reflector. Not exactly impressed with the reflectors. They're kind of chintzy to say the least. Uh, especially the reflectors on the wheels here. They're just one little clip on the back to go to one spoke and they're very, you know, a little bit of bumping or a little bit of riding in the dirt with uh, trees and leaves might just knock that right off so I'm going to probably end up replacing that. I'm not very happy with the with the quality of those reflectors for the overall quality of the bike is excellent uh, structure wise, um, function wise it's beautiful but uh, those reflectors just just really uh, are not worth it. As far as the installation goes the only thing that you have to do, like I showed originally, is put the front wheel on. It's not a big deal to be able to uh, to get those to get the front wheel on. Make sure it's tight. Make sure it's if you've got it upside down, you can run the wheel. Make sure it's running true. 
Uh, the let's try to do this one-handed. It's a little awkward. I watched a video for the uh, 2018 model. 2018 model said about taking this out and removing the spacer that's underneath here. Um, there is no specific 2019 model installation instructions except for one for the that I found later on for the XS which is basically the same thing except it has a 750 watt uh, motor instead of the 500 watt motor but um, I don't remember if he said anything about he said something about having to take this off in the last one but he didn't think you'd have to take it off here anyway I did take it off remove it there's no there's no uh, spacer under there or anything so about the only thing this does is make sure that the fork and everything is true um, which you can do by loosening it up if you have to but you shouldn't have to and then you can tighten up the fork with the handlebars with those two screws right there so that's uh, very easy to put the put the handlebars up goes up and then puts back up nice little tab or a piece of rubber there to keep that from smacking against there too hard the handlebars up here is a simple matter of taking this completely out make sure that you don't drop this little furl that's in here and make sure that you get the uh, brass washer back underneath here because um, this thing has to be moved so you can get the handlebar in and then put back on and then the whole thing screwed back on tightened up uh, that way you can adjust the handlebars for the the grip tightening um, so you've got your your hands on the grip correctly um, this and this go on fairly simple like I say it's a couple of allen wrenches and uh, allen wrench down in here and there's a one connector that this one has a uh, plug on it that's just to keep dirt and moisture and stuff out of it and you just pop that off and put this connector on and you're good to go that's pretty pretty simple there pedals of course are uh, set so that when you you can store it or when you fold it it's a little easier now rack and fenders that's the next problem uh, the rack and fender kit comes separately you have to buy the rack and fender kit with a basket uh, separately um, it's not cheap but I, I wanted fenders and I wanted a rack you could probably get an aftermarket rack and make it fit but the fenders are another story front fender fairly simple has a tab here this goes all the way through connects back to there and that's there this there's two of these the kit comes um, so that you can use it on either the X or the XS XS has a uh, suspension fork I noticed there's a little scratch on here and I don't know I it looks like that came from the factory because it obviously is nothing I did I haven't done anything to the bike yet um, so I think there's a there might have been another one back on the back side another scratch right there uh, well I guess I can't complain too much it's the way it is uh, this piece here there's two pieces one is made for the uh, non-shocked fork and the other one is made for the shocked fork this is a non-shocked obviously and it comes connects right on the these on both sides with screws that are provided has this little clip arrangement goes on the back makes it fairly sturdy it's a little bit wiggly I did ride it and uh, it's fine on regular roads but I did ride it into the uh, on the trail a little bit and it seemed to wiggle every once in a while and kind of make a little bit of noise nothing that's really that objectionable uh, 
you have to hold this little tab down there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, and screw it on to get that on. It's easier to get this on first loose before you put the fender in then slip the fender on, get this nut on, and then you can tighten these two nuts and then tighten everything uh, after every, all the nuts are on. This magnet is movable so you can adjust the magnet back and forth to align itself with this piece here which is where the magnet attaches to. It works pretty good. Uh, the rear is another story. I had a lot of problem trying to figure out exactly what they were doing. I finally figured out that there's a tab here that attaches to the rack itself and another tab here that attaches to this back portion of the rack. Uh, and then there's one slot tab down there that attaches to, to the hole that's, that's in there. The rack is held on with these two brackets on the side and they're attached with nuts and uh, fiber lock nuts um, on the, there and then screws into posts here and here. One thing you've got to do is you've got to put this fender onto this rack before you try and put the rack on the bike because there's no way you're ever going to get underneath there and be able to to screw this one on. So I've loose put this one on real loose put this on fairly tight because once you get it on there you don't you can't get to it so I tightened this up kept this loose worked the fender and the installation or the rack into the where it needed to go put the screws on here loose and these were loose got those on all the screws on tighten these up and then you can adjust these to make this level and then I tighten those down and these also help to keep the rack and the fender somewhat straight so there's a little bit of play that you can you can adjust this rod the, the only problem is that the way this is set up you physically have to take the screw out to put it back into a different hole so it's not like you could loosen the screw up and adjust the rod back and forth it would have been real nice had they done it that way they could have taken this top section there and filed it flat so that you're just you can skip over and then catch one of the the holes that you need and then when you tighten down it'll should, should stay there pretty good but they didn't do it that way so anyway it you have to take it if you have to adjust this back or forth you, you have to uh, take the uh, screw out once that's on tightened up then you tighten this back up and this makes that fender very solid this one down here is a real bear to get to you have to have the bike upside down what I ended up doing was taking a little wrench they do supply the wrenches um, but uh, they're a little awkward because they're fat I happen to have a fairly thin uh, wrench that I could tape the nut to and then guide it in there and then try and wiggle the other nut on to there get it tight as I could and uh, since it's a lock nut it should stay pretty good um, one thing that I'm do going to do is um, every one of these points here that screw into the housing I'm going to loosen those back up and put some RTV in the threads you can use Loctite on these threads but the problem with that is once you put Loctite on there once it dries it's never going to come off so what I usually do is take just a little bit of silicone clear RTV silicone put it on the thread screw it all back down the silicone dries in there and it keeps it from vibrating loose but yet you can still get it off if you have to get it off so anywhere there's a one of these uh, 
going into the frame that's that's threaded into the frame I'm going to put a little bit on there to to keep those from vibrating loose um, at these points here where it's got the lock nut you don't need to do that because it's, it's fibrous lock nuts keep it pretty solid uh, all in all it looks real good took it out for test ride the other day really like it um, it's uh, performs excellent um, you can ride it real well just in the gears if you want to uh, but once you go into uh, into the uh, pedal assist it works wonders you can feel the pedal assist kick in and uh, it really helps um, the uh, throttle here is really nice you can hit that throttle and uh, you can really feel it take off it'll run fine on the throttle by itself the gears by themselves here work pretty good as like I say you can go uh, five speeds five different gears and uh, get most of your street riding done that way without any any real problem every once in a while kick in the pedal assist for hills and stuff and uh, have a good time and when you need it hit that throttle and boy you just take off uh, I am going to adjust this a little bit right now the throttle is a little high for my thumb so I'm going to put it down a little bit adjust it down so that I got a little better thumb action on it yeah other than that I'm pretty happy with it now it's one thing I want to I'm going to ask the company about this seat like I said the original installation video that I found was for the 2018 model and uh, the 2018 model looks just exactly like this except it doesn't have gears it's got the 500 watt motor um, and the setup is the same they've got one little uh, thing here that shows a battery uh, charge discharge which you don't need because you got that on the display uh, so this the new 2019 models comes with gears and um, comes with a real nice seat that's real comfortable however when I saw the when I found the video for the 2019 XS model and again the only difference between the XS and the X is the XS is a 700 and 50 watt motor instead of 500 and it has front suspension fork and it has a seat suspension now um, if I was selling bikes I would do a couple of things to make an option for um, front suspension forks and seat fork for the 500 model you know I'm 71 years old I don't need 750 watts of power uh, to get me where I gotta go so I'm perfectly happy with the 500 watts but it would be nice to have a little bit more suspension I can understand front suspension you know unless you're an avid mountain biker it's not really that helpful the tires are good suspension however it'd be nice to have this seat with the suspension uh, built into the seat so what I'm going to ask the company is if I can just get the suspension seat in exchange for this seat uh, maybe they'll send me one to try out to see how it works I don't know what you know how much it would do but I think it would certainly help with the bumps on the butt um, so we'll see what happens if I can get them to uh, send me a uh, spring suspension in exchange um, maybe we'll, we'll try that out and, and see how it works see how, how much of a uh, seat suspension helps other than that I'm very impressed with the bike with the way it handles it really handles nice looks sharp um, it's not super super heavy obviously it's pretty you know it's heavier than a standard uh, folding bike because of the battery and because of the the frame itself and I bought the frame system the Saunders system because it is rated for 300 pounds and I'm not exactly a lightweight so <laughs> that's why I got it so it's heavy but it's not that heavy that I can't lift it up put it into a car lift it up put it on a bike rack you know that kind of stuff 
especially if you pull the battery out beforehand, the battery weighs a little bit, so it adds to the, to the overall weight. Uh, right now, I don't have any real negatives um, to say about the bike or the company. The only thing that I am a little disappointed is that there's absolutely no installation instructions anywhere for anything. So stuff that, uh, you know, figuring out how to mount the rack, mount the, the uh, fenders, you know, it's kind of a play by ear and hope that you're getting it right. Um, obviously, everything fits, everything looks like it should be where it is, so I'm pretty sure I got it right, but you never know. Um, it would be nice to have a parts breakdown or something like that. Um, the reason for that is I'm going to walk back in here and show you this. This piece here came off something. I have absolutely no idea what it came off. I've been trying to fit it to everything that I can think of uh, on the uh, either on the brake, on the back of the motor, on the derailleur. I, I just I don't know. I have no idea what this is, so I got no idea how to put it back because I don't know where it goes. It'd be real nice if the company had either a parts list or some diagrams or something that that shows you know how the whole thing is set up and and how it's all put together. Other than that, no real complaints. So, hope this video is a little bit helpful. Uh, like I say, there's no installation instructions anywhere. There's a nice uh, installation video for the XS, which uh, it's not under there, is it? I wonder if maybe that's just just saw that. That is what that's for. It goes underneath underneath the seat there. And what it does, I have the faintest idea. But that's where it goes. And I just gotta get it in the right way. I'll take the seat down and and uh, but that's what it that's what, that's what it does. This is one on that side. Alright. Problem solved. Anyway. Still would like to try out the extension or uh, the uh, spring-loaded seat that's got a spring plunger and uh, suspension in there. Also want to uh, show you this nice backpack rack comes with it. Um, it's all real nice. Got a hard shell there. And uh, basically, looks into there. Got a tab there that clicks in. Makes that nice and comfortable. Um, it's got a lot of a lot of room in it. Big compartments. Got a carrying handle or a strap so you can take it off and carry it with you. Um, pockets on both sides. Um, looks pretty good. Seems to have enough room for stuff. Um, I can see right now that <clears throat> one of the things is this light that I just put on there. I could turn it back the other way, but this is going to block that. So. I am going to end up putting lights on this bracket down here anyway, so we're just not going to worry about that right now. Um, probably I should have turned it upside down, but still, from the back, it's going to be a little hard to see unless I put it all the way up. But of course, if I got if I got a water bottle or something on here and a back full, there's no way you're going to see that reflector. So anyway, going to go from there.